88 Australians died 202 on the tragedy and tonight this game symbolises that life continues as we get on with it with Dennis Cometti. Friday night football, a night that transcends football down towards half forward. Fiora, the opening mark inside the 50 for the Tigers. Quick start. Thanks, Good Aaron. score. Sorry, There's a long kick. Thanks, we'll go close. Second kick of the game. Will it be a goal? Fiora steps to the 50. Gives it a ride. Works back nicely. Dream start for the Tigers. It is a super important start. I mean, the emotion and build-up to this game has been well documented and is important for Richmond to get on the scoreboard early and try and take as much out of, it, out of that as they can. And uh, that was just a quick kick out of the middle. And Aaron Fiora, who started to cross half forward, read it first, got to it early in front of Jess Sinclair and went back and slotted it. So from Danny Frawley's point of view, he could not have wanted a better start than that. Most of the emotion that the Kangaroos have been involved in this year in terms of games have been directed at the opposition. This is the first time the emotion is coming from within, so they are a slow starting team, but I reckon they'll get their act together early tonight. All right, well, the first 40 seconds has seen the Tigers get the first goal on the board after just two kicks. Now it's the Kangaroos' turn. Momentarily it was. Now it's Coughlin going forward again. Puts it out in front of his teammate there in uh, Richardson. He goes for the soccer kick. It comes off as well. Simpson, though, gets in the way of it for the Kangaroos. He gets the handball working. Jess Sinclair around the body. It was a dangerous Ooh. kick with his right foot, but a beautiful mark taken there by Makepeace. Sinclair doesn't like going to the right foot at any stage, and you don't like to see him bringing it right down the corridor inside the 50, boys. Glenn Archer <laughs> has marked Chaffee, so he has taken this much, much smaller Mark Chaffee right back to the goal square. Glenn Archer wouldn't have played full forward all that much. Grant brings it to King, who decides to run up the middle of the Telstra Dome. He runs a defensive 50, a thumping kick up the centre half forward. Corey Jones flies at the front, but a beautiful mark taken by Callaway. To Gaspar, sold into trouble, stumbles. Kellaway lacking support. But he's got time. Goes towards the outer side. Interesting kick. Newman's taken the mark. Slips over. Man on though. Fleming on the outer side wing can take it and go. Little chip kick into space. Zantuck. Down towards left half forward. Spots a lead. Cracker. Went to ground. Spills towards the boundary. Surrounded by kangaroos. They'll work it away. Colbert make peace. There's a problem. Deep in his defensive area, still some time. Grant swings it very wide towards the boundary. It pitches on the 50. Coglin, did he keep it in? Yes, he did. Roden, sweeping hand pass. Gaspar beat him. Good packing up. Johnson right behind him. Chips it in short. Knocked away by Colbert. Diving in Harvey. Tivendale sits on the footy. Deflated, that's the way. Grant comes away. Little chip for space. Dangerous. Zantuck to run onto it. Inside the 50, spots a man, smothered brilliantly, Stevens. Now a chance for Makepeace, Fiora, he got the early goal. Zantuck, clever hand pass, close to the boundary line, Fleming, hooks it back, how will it bounce, Cracker's got it, steadies, oh, met solidly by King. Down he went, did King drop the footy, feeds it out, bodies go in willingly, beard on top of it, Cracker, oh, Fleming. Holy, what a passage of play, look at this, Cracker, bang! Great hit, wasn't it? I mean, the timing of that hit was absolutely perfect from David oh, King. A bit high. <laughs> yeah, but he was low down. OK. And he is low to the ground. <laughs> Johnny wow. Baird gave one out too, which I didn't like it. And by Brian Sheen gave it everything. The snap of goal was from Roden. Offline, under pressure. And pretty good pressure there it was too from Johnny Baird. Three for a point. So the Tigers are 1-1. Kangas are yet to get it inside their forward 50. And we've been playing four and a quarter of minutes on the first term. Inside 50s, five zip at the moment in favour of Richmond. A big kick out. Simpson flies at the oh. front, got the ride and took a beautiful mark. Bowden, his opponent tonight, and the other match up in the middle of the ground. Rogers is running with Brent Harvey. Out wide they go. Shannon Grant on the left foot side. Does it beautifully, puts it out in front of his teammate. And Jones oh. takes a strong mark. Got one to go on with there, too, from Royce Vardy. Umpire says, no, go back and have your Rory kick. Hilton. Uh, Rory Hilton, sorry. So Corey uh, Jones just trying to sneak a bit of I think, he, I think he was trying to be honest here, Ed, because he's a big hook footer. 
Well, he sliced that one and he's kicked it out of bounds on the full. He needed a bit of hook on that he one. He certainly did. That's the way he kicks. He comes from a huge angle, so he would have returned back to the correct uh, position. Bad miss. Glenn Archer was yep. on his own inside there for a long time. He was disorientated. There's Chaffee out of the back pocket then. Plays on. Good kick. All of 50. Rogers. Left half back towards the wing. Bowden. Plays on immediately. Close to the boundary line. Down towards half forward. Richardson searching lead. Watt step to step with him. King the crumb. Takes them on. Drives it back towards half forward. In front, the mark is taken by Harding. Into end, end stuff at the moment. Friday night football, Harding towards the middle. Morell surrounded, fingertips to it, couldn't hang on. Taken away by Hilton. Back to midfield. Johnny Bear is still on David Roden. He just hasn't got the pace for him. Interesting kick goes in that direction. Roden, Johnson, lacking support. Well, he demanded a bit of Fleming. Fleming did well. Got it back to Roden. Charged down by King. Roden comes again. Stevens got him. Loose ball. Make peace on the burst. With some time. Has a bounce. The second one. Not too convincing. Up towards centre half back. Steadies. Swings it out wide. Coming hard. Harding won't get to the contest. Rogers got it on the deck. Taken by Newman. Back towards the middle. Taken by Stafford. Stafford has the ball, he goes short, just the 15, and Fleming's got it. Can somebody tell me why we've got umpires in white and blue today with kangaroos playing? Can't tell you. Anybody? Can't tell you. As it. the kick goes forward, off oh. the hands of the pack, here's Roden, gets the big second goal for the Tigers. He's kicked 1-1. Now we've been going six or seven minutes and Johnny Baird has been on David Roden since the word go. David Roden hasn't had a heap of the ball, but, well, I suppose if you call five in six minutes, <laughs> well, it's sort of a heap. <laughs> but he is just, he's all over him. He, 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 he's a good bloke, Johnny Baird, but he just can't compete at ground level. This bloke will run him in circles. Well, we have a ridiculous situation. Why I bring it to notice is coming out of the fence there, a Kangaroos player looked up and saw white and blue socks and then checked his kick because there was an umpire at centre-half back. This is totally ridiculous. I don't know the answer, Ed. Can I have a lifeline? <laughs> In the middle, missed by Hilton. Chance for Harvey. Knocks it outside the centre square. Going to ground Jones. Grant under pressure. Goes goal. It gets the goal. Wonderful work. And while they've got a bit of time up their sleeve here, you called it. Good shepherding by Archer on the line then. And once again, Harvey didn't really get hands on. He was a playmate, playmaker through there. You watch the ball work to centre half forward. He's been their real ignition over the last few weeks. Grant with his sixth possession. Just stays at the ball, Harvey. Works it through. While this is going on, somebody's got to change Johnny Baird off David Roden at the other end. And there's Shannon Grant, as you say, Doom, running in for his sixth touch. That was great vision. You saw him start behind the centre circle and just ran hard, aggressively forward. So it was an important goal. Get, get on the board early. Doom, can you find somebody to take that position for the Kangaroos? Well, they've just made a swap. Jess Sinclair's gone back in the last 15 seconds. Tigers by seven points. Cameron out of the middle towards half forward. Baird takes the tumbling mark. He's breathing a sigh of relief too, Johnny Wood. Jones is running hard for him towards the outer side. It goes in that direction. Jones at right half back then. Spots a man in Robbins. A lead inclusion. He's got it on the wing. Kangaroos on the march. Great Probing move. kick inside the 50. Morell low down. Spilt the mark. Archer came hard. Loose ball. Callaway falls on top of Archer. What a charge by Archer yeah. then. Just the way he moves the body out of the way. Porter does the ruck work. Stafford as well gave it a nice tap down to Zantuck, who broke the tackle. Strong through the hips. He gets the ball outside the defence at 50. It's out onto the centre wing. Some fortuitous bouncing there. Timondale Fiora got one in the back up. I said, play on. Hilton slams it onto the boot because he saw Cameron had run forward. Cameron loves it on the right boot, just as the little chip beautifully with his right boot. He loves it on the left, rather. And that was a beautiful mark taken there by Richardson. Kick it straight into the man on the mark over the line and out of bounds. Well, there's been a couple of one percenters already in this game that would be pleasing Dean Nagley. The smothering has been absolutely sensational. David King has had a couple, and uh, he would be wrapped with that, Dean Nagley. That vision there of Richard kicking, I don't know what his target was, because there was a lot of kangaroos jumpers in the zone he was kicking to. On the ball! You took the ball out of the rack! 
Well, there you go. He took it out He's of the up. play on. No correct disposal. Up by Brian Sheen. Imposes his influence. And the kick comes in from Bowden. And the Tigers get one. Wow, that was hot, boys. It is back in vogue, obviously. It was in vogue early in the game, the taking the ball out of the ruck and being caught in possession. And it appeared just to go off the radar there for a little while. Oh. Adam Simpson was attempting to kick the footy. It surely. wasn't the ruck play, though. The two ruckmen got out of the way. Well, it, it, that's a strange run. I mean, they were red hot early, but they tended to let it go over the last four weeks. Uh, ump Lotto. Ump Lotto, yeah, <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> Oh, we're revved up tonight. 13 points the margin. Back in the middle, the Tigers looking sharp. Great atmosphere. Stafford. Porter reaches over the top. Johnson surrounded. Archer took him down. Cool, he got there quickly, Glenn Archer from the square. They get their midfielders running from behind. Third man thumps it forward, running the space. Simpson's a special at it. Yeah. And Jones, too, in recent weeks. There he is again, knocks it down on the bounce. Threw it out. Stephen's penalised. Free kick to Chaffee across half back there. 19 plays, six. Under 12 minutes till quarter time. Friday night football, a bitter night in Melbourne. Raining outside, wonderful conditions in the dome. Cameron drives it around the outer side towards half court, going back. Richardson, and that was a strong grab under the circumstances. Beat his man and cut it into Porter. But perhaps the reverse was true. He's got the football about 80 metres from goal. Told to play on. High ball. Tellermate for Stafford. Launches himself. Porter did well. Got back to cover. Coglin running out of space. Well, the disposal's at the moment uh, 36 to 50, so Richmond doing well on the disposals. Kangaroos, when they do get it, 11 clangers to 2. This time Harvey goes for it. Nothing clangerish about that one. Straight down Chen and Grant's throat. He'll line up from 45 metres out on the right side for a left footer, as Lou Richard used to say. His seventh possession coming up as well as Shannon Grant has probably been the most effective kangaroo on the ground. Well, you also see that Brent Harvey, along with Shannon Grant, he's the playmaker. I mean, the ball's in congestion, and by the time he kicks it, so he's hard running his pace, he's got it in open space, and he's able to spot up the kick. This for Shannon Grant's 200th career goal. And second for the evening. And second for the Kangaroos. He lines it up. He gets the one. The trifecta for Shannon Grant. 200 career goals. Well, Brent Harvey's the focus player. If Richmond really want to identify who to cut out of it in a playmaking sense, they've got their best tagger, Rogers, on him. It'll probably be better match with somebody. Brad Ottens on the ground doom. It's just uh, it's hard to see. 100th game, hasn't played all season. March 12th, back surgery. Big moment for him. Brad Ottens on the ground, standing on the wing at the moment. The margin is seven points. Ottens playing his 100th game. <laughs> He'd give away a free here. What's he doing out there? Uh, he couldn't be bothered running to the goal square. He's going to make his opponent come Keep to him. Moving. Out of Knock Nick. Robbins reels it in, tied up, ball up. I tell you what, boys, there is some big blocking going on around these stoppages, around the ball ups and boundary throw ins, mainly from the Kangaroos. That last one for Brent Harvey was what freed him up. Shannon Grant comes to the interchange bench for a spell, and Daniel Harris comes on. Otten's in front, directs it down, goes after it. Touch play on! Spills back to Hilton. After Johnson's kick was charged down and has that a clever mark by King down towards half back, the one-hander. He'd love that. He controlled it all the way. He knew exactly what he was doing. There was no risk in it at all. Here's trouble. Wells meters in the clear. He's on the wing. Short one can go over the top to make peace. Will he take it and go? No. Get it back, son. Momentum lost just for the moment. Wells runs on, but closed down by hard running by Fiora. Back to the middle end. King. Lee Brown's on. King. About 80 metres from goal to Brown. Good talking. <laughs> He'll kick from about 55 then. Morell towards the middle. Brown told to play on. That's ambitious. <laughs> he takes the man on on the mark. Picked yeah. his mark. It goes down towards full forward. Gets the Full chest. It takes the mark. Wants to go. Plays on immediately. Fast footy. Zantuck. Chaffee. Needs to be quick. Is. Gave it away though. Wells. A runner cruising past Watt. 
Feeds it back. Stevens looks to the middle. Bypasses King. Comes right across the ground to Brown to Sinclair. A natural left footer goes to the pocket. Morell gave a contest. Knocked it away from Kellaway. Found it on the ground. Tied up. Ball up. I reckon if you see a replay of this one, Digby puts his head down. His own teammate runs through and clips him on the top of the head with his foot. There's a bit of friendly fire there already. 40 metres out from the kangaroo goal. Up they go. Here's Archer. Finds a bit of space out of nowhere. Has the flying shot and just misses to the near side. A point for the kangaroos. It's a goal the difference with five minutes and 23 seconds left on the clock. First touch for Glen Archer tonight. Just the one before when um, they come streaming through there. You've got to be able to attack the top of the square. I just yep. and the kick the morale was a two on one. Just belted in there to the dangerous spot. And Harris had just snuck in the back there as well at that stage, Gary. Yep. Running the ball out of defence now, Cameron. It's the handball across. Hilton brings it out to centre in two on one. Kangaroo's favour. Archer does well. Does very well. Make peace. It was the cavalry who came in to lend some support. He looks up. There's no leads coming, so oh. he shins it forward. Gets a good bounce. It sits nicely for yeah. Morel. Does it beautifully. A juggling act. Now can he complete the circus act? He has a flying shot and misses. <laughs> thought his way through it pretty well. Point. Five points the difference. Inside five minutes to go in this opening term. Things starting to open up a free-flowing affair this game tonight. It is. I mean, it all is coming rebounding out of each of the defensive 50s and uh, the hard runners linking up in the middle of the ground. Tevendale, the long ball towards midfield. Cameron at the back as if preordained. Goes inside the 50. Wonderful transference of play. Johnson marks. 30 metres out. Spots him out of the middle cracker. He can go in and from 15 metres kicks the goal. Doesn't get much better than that. Pure silk. Well, coaches love that. As you saw, sitting out the back of the kicking pack was Leon Cameron and coaches love it when you set something up and it goes the length of the field without the opposition touching it from a kick in. Kane Johnson having a breather up forward now. He's gone up there swapping with, uh, changing with Roden on the ball. Good lead from the full forward square too. Good cap off. Good play. Logger back as the Tigers go 11 points clear. Gary Lyon loves the assist and Kane Johnson has now been directly Involved in two goals for the Tigers. The first one with his kick out of the centre, the first kick of the game. That one to Cracker. It's 11 points. Four minutes and 15 and counting. Up it goes. Harding from behind. Couldn't hold the mark. The ball comes out from Newman to Chaffee. The little, little, little kick was a beauty too. Inside the powder. Now they're away. Tibbendale, a thumping left foot kick. Up towards Richardson. Punched away by Colbert. Was good football. Here comes Roden. The, the Kangaroos thought they had it. Sticks up there, I think, for a moment. Gee, Richardson was stiff then. Shannon White just pulls him away from this. He's, he's looking to initiate contact, but... <laughs> no, it's a bit of Hang on, let's listen to the umpire. He's picked the free kick out here because the Tiger player just had a kick when the ball was called out of bounds. Exactly right, Ed. That was the call. Wells. Found a bit of it since coming on. Third touch coming up. Right here, Rory. You've got about four or five. That's it. The Daniel Wells. Lays off the pass on this occasion to Shannon Watt. Back to Wells. The Tigers run to the outer side. Jones takes the mark at halfback. They all run off him, which gives him a chance. King keeps running. He's going to have to beat two here, though. He gets a good bounce. If he can flick it over the top, the right. Kangaroos are on. He did it beautifully to Digby Rowell. He finds a bit of space. The left foot kick is at the goal. Bounces and misses. And Digby's had two shots for two points in the last five minutes. So he had a good week last week, Digby Morell. He kept off, uh, you know, he got a bag full. He got four for himself against the Bulldogs. The Kangaroos, since this game's opened out, are playing a similar game style to last week. Wide of their opponents. Well, someone wide of Daniel Wells. Oh, <laughs> that's the cracker. Hasn't come anywhere near him tonight. I don't even know who's on him. I cannot find out. Ty's Antak is meant to be at the moment, but he's sitting back and allowing Wells up into the midfield. Brown did well, knocked it out of bounds. Boundary throw in down towards left half forward for the Kangaroos. The trail by 10 points, under three minutes till quarter time. 4-1, 2-3. Five scoring shots apiece. 
Don't hold. Well, Ottens could have got a free there. Spills back to Brown. Kicks down towards the 50. Archer to Harris. Can move inside the 50. Lines up off the boot. It's a beauty. Who's in touch? Again, it was stoppages, Dan. They, I tell you, they run hard forward towards goal. They try and create a lot of space goal side. And uh, either the second man up belts it down, or they just all watch them charge forward here. They're all on the run. Quick kick out was the thing. Archer meets the footy. And a beautiful finish from Harris, who came on to replace Shannon Grant. So that position between them, they've got three goals. Daniel Harris brings the margin back to four points. We've got a great game on our hands here. Two minutes and 40 seconds left in the quarter. As always, Stevens hard at the ball. Bowden tries to sneak it out. Give another bounce. Off the ball. It was against Harvey. Rogers taken off the ball and hit high. Cameron probing kick inside the 50. Clears the pack. Roden just inside the boundary line. They stay off him. They hunt him. He got the ball to Fiora. Sets it up towards the kickoff line. Petrie comes across and takes a very strong mark. He's showing signs of getting frustrated here, Richo. Just needs to keep chipping away. At the moment, Shannon Watt has the pace in the bag just to stay with him. Watt got a free kick there. Richo coming off a bad week last week. Sinclair in the back pocket. Back to the kickoff line. This is Watt. Two minutes remaining in the turn. He breaks towards half back. Goes in short. Harvey. Plenty of time. Goes wider still. Brown. He can run. Not his best attribute. Has one bounce. The anvil moves down towards right half forward. Good kick. Well inside the 50. Otten's fingertips to it. Knocked back across the line by Chaffee. Looking through for a behind. Look at Kingy trying to suck him in. Sorry, it was Adam Simpson just making Come out. On, just. Over it goes. And they run to the goal umpire with their fists clenched in celebratory pose. See, Adam Simpson <laughs> there. <laughs> oh, it's good professionalism if it works. Worth a try. Yeah, well, you I never know. know. Oh. Oh, I've seen worse decisions than that, Gary. When? <laughs> well, I'll think about that. <laughs> Archer, as always, puts his body on the line. Johnson has held up in the tackle. Good play. Kellaway flicks it out. Minute 15 left in the quarter. It comes out to Bowden. Richo wants it out in front of him. He's decided to ignore Richardson's lead and go wider still. Out here to Ray Hall. Chance for Bed. Grab without the ball. No, says the umpire. Now, Roden, look at the kick. This will be a goal if it keeps going. Just touched on the line and had the right bounce Ooh. and spin. Missed by that much. Great kick. Deliberate kick, too, I reckon. Look Dennis? At this. I think so. Ooh, oh, on, oh, oh. What was that? It was centimetre perfect. Well, almost. <laughs> Heads were bobbing. <laughs> His beard. Great start to a big weekend of football. Spread over four days. Melbourne and Collingwood on Monday. There he is. There's something wrong with Daniel Wells. They will not go near him. To Wells. Tiffendale's on him now, Gary, and refuses to go pick him up. Close to the boundary line. Juggle marked by Jones. We're down to 25 seconds remaining. And of course, the Brisbane Cup on Monday as well. Ed. With a very successful horse. The favourite too, Dennis. Your mighty steed, Maguire. Confusing week in my family. We <laughs> refer to Ed and Mr. Ed. <laughs> there goes the kick inside the 50. Kangaroos on the march. Gaspar taken down. Did he have the footy? Archer did well. Jones outside the 50. Down to the last second. Will the mark stand? I doubt it. I doubt it. Harvey took the mark. The Just before halves. Explaining the situation. Halves. Split second before. Okay. Thanks, Matt. Spot on. And what a game we've got on our hands. It's a four-point ball game. Richmond 4-2-26. The Kangaroos are 3-4-22. Jason McCartney yet to appear on the ground for the Kangaroos. 4-2-3-4. McCartney down at full forward as we start the second turn. Stafford crashes to the ground. Barton knocks at Goldwood. Grant has bit of two goals. Hand passes straight up in the air. Coglin down goes Tivendale. The ball up. He's gone straight to full forward, Jason McCartney. Andy Kellaway on him. There's only one group of people in Australia that don't want him to kick the first goal of this second quarter, and that's the Richmond coaching box. 
I don't even think the fans are begrudging one. In front, Stafford knocks it down, came back to him. Newman moved at about 15 metres. Cameron, to his own advantage, could have been held. Simpson under pressure, kicks it out wide, close to the boundary line. Colbert leads in the race. It trickles out. Let's get down to the dock. Red Ops on the bench at the moment getting some attention. He threw himself straight into the game. He'd expect him to be used sparingly tonight. The doctor did go out to him just before quarter time, but he gave the all clear. Took a big hit in the back and survived it quite well. Tossed it on the wing. Petrie works in front. Emerging player to Simpson. Kicks down inside the 50. Loose ball. McCartney, first touch. Couldn't control it. Kellaway went to ground. Playing on an Aussie hero. Was pushed in the back. We'll get the free kick. That is a tough gig. Tigers bring the ball out to defensive 60. Chaffee takes the mark. Four points the difference. A minute and a half gone in the second term. Friday night football. Chaffee with his sixth possession. Wells on the mark. Up to centre wing. Gasper from behind. Did enough to spoil. Robbins couldn't hold it. Grant caught one high. They went back for the ball. Out to Lee Brown. Hands off to Stevens. Back to Grant. No one moving for the Kangaroos. That's why they're holding it here at halfback. There's just no movement whatsoever over the top. They might run out of luck here. Falling over. Mucking around. Grant has his last chance. And held, held it from the 20 to 360. Colbert is the turnover. Kane Johnson flicks it out wide to Cameron. He could punish the Tigers. Here comes the Tigers. Look at this. Set up all over the place except for there. And Lee Brown took the mark. He had Richo on in the goal square, on his own, and got an opponent near him. So that was just, that's bad luck. Leon Cameron didn't see him. Leon Cameron probably tried to do too much in the end. Well, the Kangaroos also tried to do too <laughs> much. There is a time just for banging it forward and hoping your forwards are reading the play. Here's Colbert. Gets the lead from McCartney. Steps around his opponent. McCartney now out of the picture. So he thumps it to centre half forward. Harding got a shove in the back. Play on, says the umpire. Advantage has been paid. Stevens kicks the goal, and the umpire says, All clear! Kangaroos hit the front. Well, when they made up their mind, Gary, they actually went in there pretty direct. Lee Colbert decided he was going to turn into a uh, blind turn expert here and uh, didn't really quite know what he was doing with it. But when he got it in quickly to space, and there's pressure on a midfielder to try and outmark the opposition. Coughlin got in the back. And I mean, that's a simulation of the uh, top of the goal square there. It's dangerous. It's deadly. It's in front, 40 metres out. So the Kangaroos lead for the first time tonight. They're up by two points. 28 players, 26. Keep Knocked it down by it the big fellow, Stafford. Diving on top of it, Johnson, baller. These two teams are almost identical in statistics of how they play the game. The only thing is the Kangaroos get a lot more centre bounce takeaways in terms of clearances. Stafford and Brown again. Brown set a task here. Johnson scrambles it forward inside the 50. Richardson came up to meet it. Well played. Moves outside the 50. Tivendale, a long kick. This one is a long good kick. Tigers back in front. If you have a look at this one again, David King, and I mean, he's a massive body, Matty Richards, and people think he's athletic and the likes. Well done to Kane Johnston, he is good at the clearances. Richo comes out, David King should have tackled. And he just, yeah, I mean, absolutely. he lets him through too easy. He's never going to bowl him over. But you probably thought a shoulder might pop out if I try and well, uh, take him, but you've got to lay the tackle. It was great effort by Richardson. A beautiful trap and a good give. Should have tackled here, David King. You don't like seeing that, Kingy. He had to no. wrap his arms around him and just try and stop him in his run. And, but take nothing away from Matty Richardson. It was a terrific attack, clean grab, nice quick give. Tigers back in front as Tivendale and Grant go at it at centre wing. Out of the centre, Bowden brings it out. Good play oh, by Harding though for the Kangaroos. Now they go forward again, out towards Wells. He got to the front and took a nice mark in front of his eyes. Look about the balance there. Beautiful balance. He's unlucky not to get a 50 metre penalty. Transfer of football oh, was a beauty too. Have the Lee Harding from 50. He lines up and thumps a big ground bomb. Lee Brown. The air 
avoid. It was beautiful play by young Wells, Gary. He saw him and he really hit this ball as hard as he could right across the ground here. And Lee Brown, he's dropping into like a ruck roving position there. And they're excited about came Wells. Out of the Dern getting him. He's the best talent to come out of Western Australia for a long, long time. He's come onto the ground. He's had uh, six possessions, taken four marks. And as you say, the kick with the depth to Brown was sensational. And they just got to tighten up at him. Tivendale gave him no respect. Zantuck, I think, is the opponent for Wells now. Got to pay him more respect. Wells has four goals for this season then. Stafford got it on the way down. Johnson goes over Stafford. Ball up. Notice that Steve-O is running around with Kane Johnson, but at the bounce downs, it's almost Hello. like Robbins and Stevens are tag teaming on Kane Johnson because he's pretty good at these takeaways. Oh. Stafford sends it back this time to Hilton. Kicks it very high towards half forward. Cameron had to spoil from behind. In front, Tivendale. Quick hands away for Yora. Stafford, the big man, does well. And spotted Rogers out of the corner of his eye, 55 metres from goal. Too tall for Cracker. Just inside the boundary line, Houlihan can't keep it in. Colbert in big trouble in the middle of the ground. Lee Dave, Colbert. David King's boot comes in here, I think. Oh, Ooh. knee. No holding. Kangaroos by two points. Robbins flicks the ball out. Whoa! <laughs> well, everyone was just watching it there. What was going to happen as Harris gets the ball out to the wing position over the line and out of bounds. It's like watching a pantomime, that wasn't it? <laughs> it would be helpful on the footy field, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, here comes Punch. Yeah, they're not bad at the boundary line throws. It's the one strong long suit or strong area that they are in takeaways, the Tigers, is they're pretty good at the boundary line throwing takeaways, but mainly through Wayne Campbell. Unfortunately, he's not out there tonight. There's some shepherding going on. Nice header there from Simpson in the end. Harris to Robbins. Nice handball out too. Brown has been amongst it. Flicks it out. Here's the skipper. Stevens onto the left boot. Kick is a good one too. Right down the throat yeah. of his teammate there in Drew Petrie. To the head, he turned the other way. He had David King streaming goalward. He just happened to turn this side. Petrie's first touch. Daniel Wells, the dangerous uh, half forward at the moment. McCartney's the lead. The McCartney sets himself. Gets to the front. Was he held? No, says the umpire. Surely he was held. Ball up. No. Tivendale flicks it out. Zanta. Fiora. Great acceleration. Opens up the play. Gets the handball going now. Cameron back inside to Rogers on centre wing. Kicks it to the forward 50. Sinclair had to stand his ground and did enough. Crack it front and square, but he was beaten by Harvey to the ball. And the Kangaroos through Makepeace bring it out again. Back to Harvey. So good last week. Up towards the wing. Petrie. Plays on. Back to Harvey. Hesitates. Goes to Brown. Brown's doing well. Runs forward at the centre circle. Interesting kick, but effective. King's taken the mark 35 metres out, slight angle. Just kick the goal, King. Gee, there's some loose marking. There's some loose marking. King's been pretty well on his own for probably three or four minutes. Brown's been running around. I think he's playing half forward. Cameron coming off. He might be paying the price for Big Lee Brown's influence, I think. But, gee, they're just giving them some latitude. Well, Lee Brown's actually coming from half back at the moment. So, he's, I mean, for a big unit, he's giving them good run off the half back line. The margin currently two points. This to make it eight. King leans back, likes it off the boot. I think it's okay. It is. His first. Well, he's the one that's uh, doing a fair bit of damage, big uh, Lee Brown. He's had ten possessions. He's taken seven marks. He's effectively playing Doom as a ruckman at the moment. Yeah, he is. A he's mobile following the ball. He's just gone in there now for this bounce down, but he's been coming off the half back line. But I tell you what, he's finding a bit of it. Well, it just, he's hanging around the middle, essentially. And he, he did just, this last week. Gave them good run as a following ruckman. Yeah, they're playing through him beautifully. This puzzles this quarter. Kangaroos 39, Richmond 20. And the Kangas have kicked four of the last five goals. And at the last one in the first quarter, Stevens opened the account, one to Tippendale, and then Brown and King, and here they go forward again. It opens up. Brown has the ball, looks forward. 
Nothing going, so he takes two, comes in on the left boot, puts it to the hot spot, good mark. Digby Morrell was wide open, took a bit of courage. It was a pretty good kick as well, and Big Digby can line up. He'll kick it from just inside the 50, dead in front. Got him on the back foot at the moment, the Kangas. They've got Morrell, they've got a pretty tall forward line, Morrell, Petrie, McCartney. And as we said, Brown in the ruck is giving Stafford plenty to think about and has absolutely carved the big Richmond ruckman at the moment. Cameron back on for Hilton for the Tigers. Big kick coming up. It's eight points the difference. From right on, 50. Gives it a good hit. Straight through the middle. 14 points. Digby's first. Well... It's just working nicely. They're getting some uh, plenty of footy through the middle of the ground. The fact that Lee Brown is playing in the middle and doing so well allows him to be to be able to straighten up on um, regular occasions. He did it last week, Dermo, as you said, in the second half when he moved onto the ball, and he has really taken a hold of this game. So double the possessions in this second quarter. Yeah, Kangaroos dominant at the moment. So the Kangaroos have booted the last three goals. 7 4 5 2. Play restarts. Brown came hard, but Stafford won it down. Chance for Newman. Tivendale out of the middle towards Harford. The goal is Richardson up one handed. Rock doing a good job. Sockers it towards the boundary line. Takes it across. Well, it in, says the umpire. Danny Fall has reacted to Lee Brown. He's got Ray Hall now come on to run around with him. And Corey. There's Corey McKernan in the stand watching an old teammate. Tossed in. Inside the 50. 11 and a half minutes till half time. At the back of the pack, Cracker worked off the line of the football. Coughlin put the body in. Roden as a result. The beneficiary snaps. And misses. Been busy. Ninth possession, David Roden. One goal, two. So Did he just tested. need to stay low over the ball that then when he saw the uh, oncoming traffic? Lifted away from it a bit. Testing time here for the Tigers. King to bring it in. Uncomfortable margin. No real target out here. They're all shorts. Oh. Oh. Make peace. Not tall enough. They needed Spider. He's not for the 22. Stafford <laughs> becomes a wild card because Lee Brown is not his opponent at the moment. Now he gets picked up by Johnny Baird. Houlihan told to play on. He was standing outside the boundary line. Kicks long down towards full forward. Watt goes up, crashing the pack, Archer. Off hands and behind. Well, that's it, interesting. I saw that last week as well. The umpire calling play on, and the guy is standing out of bounds. <laughs> well, that's it. It's out. This wasn't that interesting. Shannon Watt, inexperienced compared in uh, relative terms to Glenn Archer, goes for the mark in front of the goal line. And Glenn Archer spoils him to get the ball over the line and a behind resulting. Oh, Jess Sinclair decided to take the kick out. Same bad. result, though. Come they can't down. break it. They didn't, haven't had any targets for the last two kick-ins. Richardson. No movement. There's one bloke he wouldn't kick it near. Oh. Goes to the pocket. Plenty yeah. of blocking going on. Nate Pearce took the mark. It's against oh. King because he oh. absolutely oh. held Cracker. Oh. 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 Set to it. I think it's safe to turn the microphone back on. Both got each other's the claims. And I think it's a fair claim indeed. Yeah. It yep. is a fair claim. But there was a shocking kick from Matthew Richardson. He eventually went half long to the pocket to two smalls when he's got Greg Stafford standing in the goal screen. Seven free, free kicks. Kick. Seven free kicks to three. Richmond and the Kangaroos. As Cracker comes in. That's a good kick. A beautiful kick. But the umpire says it's a goal. He's put it through for his second. I think the crowd got us there, boys. That is the kangaroo cheer squad down there. And they yeah, met that the kick with deathly silence. And, uh, well, that's a good result from Andrew Cracker. What about the free kick, boys? I didn't think it was there. I reckon he initiates it. They're both He's got his arm um, right around. Have a look I at reckon Higgy did in. initiate that one. Well, we'll split that decision. The point's a good one. Why would you go there in the first place? And that's a wonderful kick. Very cool. 7-4-6-4. Richmond needed that last goal. Stafford looking for body contact. Missed. Petrie did well down to Simpson. Kicks inside the 50. Killaway comes up to meet it. Lays it off. Out of defence. Chaffee up towards the wing. Good kick. Just inside the line. Rogers. 
from the Tigers. Get the next goal and tie it up. Rogers from the wing towards half forward. Richardson works in front. Hands to it. Couldn't hang on. Falling to the ground. Archer did brilliantly. Got it to Harvey. Pulls it back. Clever mark taken by Cameron though on the wing. Cameron with Richardson screaming for it. And I don't I'd go there. The middle would be exposed if Richardson doesn't take the mark. He goes wide. Oh. Clever mark taken by Tivendale. 60 metres out, Tivendale. Towards the pocket, Houlihan takes the mark. We watched that unfold very well, Greg Tivendale. All the men came to Bowden, who'd slipped Adam Simpson somewhat, and he took traffic with him, and when he saw that happen, Tivendale just weighted it to perfection over the top to this man. Great work by David Roden off the footy. Just kept his opponent yep. out of uh, harm's way. Adam Houlihan runs around, normally a dead-eyed dick, and this is no exception. Pops it through, good goal. Against the flow, I'd say, those last two goals. Very, very important for the Tigers, but uh, against the flow, the Kangas had enjoyed a really good 10 minutes. Not sure whether we'll pick it up from this angle. Hopefully we do. There's still David Roden in the forward pocket. And yeah, we may not at this stage. But he can go back pretty safely knowing your teammates have got uh, your best interests at heart. Simpson and Archer chased out Bowden to the left. Two quick goals to the Tigers. In fact, two in two minutes. Scores are level. Just under nine minutes left in the first half of football. Coglin out of the centre, does it well to centre half forward. Out comes Hall and he got the last goal. High tackle, no, says the umpire. Just slipped at Harvey. What happened, boys? Oh, Arch gave him under the ribs on the way in then. Hey, Kenny! Have a listen. Call it! Call it! Call it! <laughs> Kenny! Thanks. Four, Matty Rogers. Four, four, four. <laughs> There's a lot of peacocking going on out there uh, at the uh, moment. A face pulling contest. <laughs> <laughs> He'll give you something every time, Kingy. Step it. Picks it out of there and just thumps it onto the boot. Yeah. Good luck, out they come. Yeah. Gee, plenty of courage there. Cracker almost picked everyone's pocket. Make piece thrown to the ground will have a bounce. 35 directly in front of the Tiger goal. Dr. Peter Larkins. Yeah, Lee Colbert still in the room said uh, after getting cleaned up by David King. Don't think he can get reported for uh, cleaning up your own man. He got reported this week on Shane Burrs, but they say he's winded and he should be back, Lee Colbert. Nice tap from Stafford. Tippendale. We want to come back on the left. No, he just jabs it on the right. Johnson goes to ground. Oh, there's a knee tough. in there. Yeah, guess who? He's on fire, Kingy. <laughs> and you hear Kane Johnson yell at him. Oh, He's got the angry tablets tonight, Kingy. <laughs> Fleming goes over and renews acquaintances again. Proud parents looking on. What a night for them. The son is out on the ground. Hasn't had a possession as yet. But this whole crowd, this whole stadium behind him. A unity of feeling, most unusual at the footy. Hall, Chaffee, quick hands away. Rogers did well. Cracker, he got it from King towards the outer side. Wells again. Quick silver, but missed the footy. Tivendale missed the target. Harris, Archer taken high, surely. He'll get the free kick. Got it set in. <laughs> Archer plays on quickly. King's got it. Up he goes. Oh, he takes the hand. And he's been reported for the elbow. Elbow. the elbows. Keep him down. Ooh, I thought tight, he reached tight, for the pencil. Tight, tight, tight. Just don't a word. He's got to be silly. He's just got to be careful. Ben Archer, we all love him for the way he plays. Just needs to be very, very careful. Came back to him. He goes in short to Jones, who's marked just inside the 50. And there's a thumping kick. And watch the right elbow here. Oh. And that's a, that is a reversal at the very least. Absolutely. And they'll take a look at it. And that, that's silly. I mean, he's tough and courageous. He just doesn't need to do that. Here's Jones. Capable of putting the Kangaroos in front. Steps to the 50. Long kick. Misses to the near side. Behind. <laughs> Interesting to note too, Corey Jones coming from the goal square when he had Mark Chaffee on him. Everyone who's had Mark Chaffee tonight has taken him back to the goal square. There's that one again. I mean, he's got a case to argue as well. I mean, it's easy to hang him straight away. But he does have 
Does have some grounds there to hang back on. I could argue he should have got 50 metres. Yep. Yep. Had a look at the archer one from another angle. Didn't look as bad, but again, he needs to be careful. Yep. Plenty of cameras on you on Friday night football. <laughs> yeah, for sure, that's right. It's the one night you don't want to take a risk in that area. And a lot more of the footy, the ruse. They perhaps should be a little further in front. Knocked in front by Petrie. Chaffee ran into a dead end. Jones in a tight situation did well. Pulled it back. Well, compete about 15 metres out. Zantuck hit him on the back. Morell fed it across to King. And King has kicked a free goal. His second. <laughs> Well, moments ago he was Nance and Helens, and suddenly he's tranquil and quiet and celebrated. Just in a very, very demure celebration at that. Yeah. Went to the crowd, gave the old what can't hear you. He's just providing some entertainment on Friday night football is king. He's had a fair bit of it too. He certainly tests the patience of the uh, coach. There's no doubt about that. When he uh, when he put the uh, the sleeper hold on Cracker at the other end of the ground. But I tell you what, he's just excited. He just, he makes you want to watch the game. He's a good celebrator. He is one of the best celebrators, Kingy. He's a good player. And David King has had 12 kicks, no handballs, <laughs> six marks, <laughs> and two goals. He's not likely to add to the handball tally either. Four <laughs> don't argue. <laughs> 28 <laughs> arguments. 28 <laughs> arguments with the Oh, uh, well read. Tigers go <laughs> forward. Punched away from Roden. Good play from Watt. We'll just swap the handball over the top. Jones, no chance. Umpire will bounce. Now that's what you're talking about, Dermot. You don't panic in that situation. You take the tackle and take it to ground and you affect the ball up. Rather than cough it up yep. and maybe give up a goal. Well, you cough it up, it goes into free space and they end up a shot on it. Just absorbed the tackle. Beautiful spoil from Makepeace. Here's a chance for Johnson. He just threw that one out to Tippendale. They all thought he was going to go to the left. He went to the right, then back to the left, and he misses. Ray Hall comes to the bench here. Now, they've had trouble with their kick-ins. Not so much the actual kicking, but they haven't had a mobile person giving them an option as a target. Now, those... Tippendale, Dermot, 11 possessions for the quarter. One goal, one for the quarter. Now, this, is the, this is the hard area now. The secondary target. They've got to find somebody on the move who can accept. Simpson is that man. He doesn't accept. Uncharacteristic fumble over the line and out of bounds, which was unfortunate for the Kangaroos because they were away. Watson had got loose at centre wing. Throw in at half forward flank for the Tigers. Kangaroos by six points. Danger here for the Roos. Kane Johnson has been very good around the stoppages and he's got a loose player on him. Down goes Harris. Throw Threw it out, says the umpire. Missed the first one. Yeah, two throws back to back. Kane Johnson. So Johnson has it about 60 metres out. And there's Richardson deep in the pocket. So I doubt he'll get to the contest. That's a hold. Punched down by a kangaroo defender. Out of there by Sinclair towards the outer side. Gaspar leads back. Assistance coming from Kellaway. Running hard is Coglin. Didn't spot him or did he? Coglin comes across, not required. Hulahan's taken the mark forward of the wing. Tigers. Moving forward, Otten's the target here, in from the side, hands to it, didn't complete the mark, Harvey, Sinclair again, close to the boundary line, does well, kept his head, got it to Harris, Harris wasting no time, pops it over the top, this is Watson, is it left half back, clock running down to half time. Watson, talented youngster, drives it up towards half forward, clears the pack, Waiting behind, it's taken by Hall, jams it on the yeah, boot. Yeah, Got yeah. lucky, Coglin, hand passes to Bowden. Bowden finds Richardson. Is it a mark? Yes, yep. it is. A free, free kick, kick is played. So Richardson, only 20 metres out as we begin another adventure. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, he was motoring to get to him. Shannon Watt. And there's a little point of the elbow into the... Upside of the rib cage. Huge kick this one. To level the scores. Matthew Richardson, his best haul against the Kangaroos. Six, round 22 of 1996. He's got 15 goals this season. Disappointing game last week. Confidence player. He's moved outside the 50, if you don't mind. Fatigue could get him. I need advice from Adam Simpson. Just to the right of screen. You'll just see him off to the right. He got as close as he could there, the closest kangaroo player. 
It's giving him plenty of advice. There's his Kingy off to the right. Kingy's <laughs> coming as well. <laughs> so Richardson to tie the score. That's 50. 50, doesn't know he's got it. He's kicked the goal. <laughs> <laughs> Wins on both counts. <laughs> Got everything. Well, it wasn't for, it wasn't lacking for advice then, uh, Matthew Richardson, but he struck it beautifully, stuck to his routine. No, he knew he'd got the 50, took all the pressure off. He, that <laughs> might be so too. But that is it clearly Kangaroos thought. Well, if Matthew Richardson gets a set shot at goal, we're going to try and get inside his head. And Adam Simpson and David King did their very, very best. In fact, David King was just to the right of Simo, and he might have trumped him. 8.5.53 apiece. Two minutes 18 left on the clock in this first half. It's been a great game of footy. Porter goes up and gets the tap. Porter has a second go at it, but it's the Tigers. Coglin, Johnson, Coglin, who get the centre break. Broke the tackle beautifully. Coglin on the left boot, puts it into the hot spot. It's an half four. That's a push in the back or a mark, whichever way you like. He's paid the mark in the end, and Houlihan, who is a beautiful kick, Nailed one from deep in the pocket earlier yeah. this quarter. We'll get the chance to kick from about 47 metres out directly yeah, in front. That's Glenn Archer trying to beat two opponents. That is just unfortunate, Arch. He's got his man there, Houlihan. Then he sees Bowden coming in across the front, so he thinks, oh, I'll have to try and affect the spoil there. And it ended up costing him because it falls into the arms of Houlihan. Simple as this. If the Kangaroos can stop Richmond taking the ball away from the centre. They'll win this game. Hulahan has kicked one for the game in this quarter. He comes in. And a kick that was a freak snap from the pocket. That one, no good at all off the boot. Through for a point. And that's the margin in this game. The Tigers lead by. Got a break even, which goes against the flow of what we believe to be, you know, their status. They've got a break even in centre bounce takeaways at the moment, or relatively so. So if they can get it back to the way the statistics point it should be, they'll run through with it here, the Kangaroos. Richardson missed it. Harris comes away. He crumbed it down towards Harthorpe. Petrie works in front with Gaspar. Goes after it, watching the wave quickly. In trouble, upended. Kellaway reels it in. That ball's not coming out. We'll have a ball up. Down towards Harthorpe for the Roos. Fleming. King a. Volatile, so to King. <laughs> they got their own little war going, those two, Fleming and King. Okay, Johnson, he felt one of Kingy's before, so he's still got him in mind. Porter gets the front spot, Stafford gets to the contest, and that'll do us. For the first half of footy, it's a beauty. Stick with us. Kangaroos 8 5 53, Richmond 8 6 54. Start of the second half then. The Tigers lead by a solitary point. Good game of footy so far. Petrie the backhander down. Taken away by Coughlin, who got it from Bowden. Kicks inside the 50. Richardson drew a crowd, stayed on his feet, then fell over. Paul goes in, tries to knock it goal. Would make peace for Nessing. Fleming knocks it towards the square. Brown concedes a behind. Doubles the margin. Let's go down to the dock. Yeah, Dennis, uh, Lee Collar we saw take the heavy hit from David King. He's been sent to Epworth Hospital for precaution. They just couldn't stop the nausea and vomiting, so they just say he's been heavily winded, no rib damage, but they've sent him off for a check. OK, Pete, we'll come back to you for a bit more on that, just uh, your diagnosis of it. A big thump to the boundary line. In fact, we'll come straight back to you, Pete. Uh, the doctors are telling you that. What, what would that cause? Is it just a, a reaction, or is there yeah. something a little bit worse? He actually deteriorated over three or four minutes after the big hit. And we see here Kingy take him out front on. Bit of a head, but also got need. And he's getting spasm in the diaphragm, and they just can't stop the nausea. And they said, while the game is on, it's easy to have him in, under the care at a hospital. Fair enough. Thanks, Pete. Dr. Peter Larkins on the boundary line. Watson gets the handball going to Brown. Brown. That's okay. A big kick this one, and a good one too, and Harris takes the mark at half back. Tigers by two points. We've played a minute and a half in this third quarter of football, a vital Friday night football game, seventh versus eighth. Loser could well drop out of the eight by the end of round 11 as Robbins with a sweeping handball goes out wide. Baird inside 50. Jones has the sit. Digby Morell from the back couldn't hold the mark. Chaffee to Rogers, who brings it out wide, still to Bowden, who marks defensive 40, plays on straight away, on the right boot, good play, two around the body, to Zantuck, next kick is very important, he puts it out in front of Richardson, who gets to the front and takes it, 
Looks further forward. Houlihan leads one way. Cracker the other. Now Ray Hall presents. Ray Hall's the target. Hall gets underneath it. Make peace got into the back of him. Up I said play on. Houlihan did well. Front and centre, but the kick was ordinary. Stevens over the top. And Kane Johnson was never a chance. There's Grant in the back pocket then. Lovely kick coming out. Harris releases King. Alongside the centre circle, goes wide to Harvey, doesn't break stride, runs inside the 50, tight angle, kill away. Oh, what a terrific mark. A one-hander to match one we saw earlier from King, Zantuck short to Richardson. He's forward of right half back, takes a while, kicks down towards half forward, Kane Johnson outnumbered. Well, what dropped it? Johnson, golden opportunity, goes to Fleming, and Fleming is 40 metres out. What? happened there he just expected a bit of contact there and the hands loosened on it this is a good take by Andy Kellaway other end of the ground controlled the situation you know what? well his captain did all the hard work kept Kane Johnson out of the contest and now he's paying the price Tim Fleming distance won't be a problem it's a question of accuracy and that is very accurate Stretches the lead. I wouldn't mind seeing the goal line do on that occasion. Um, to the, go through low. The young fella Tim Fleming didn't absolutely smash that through the goals, and Greg Stafford was in the goal square. There's a mistake, and that's something that Shannon Mott won't want to watch again. But uh, you just watch this kick and see what the height it goes through on the goal line. You just see Stafford here. That is unforgivable, I would suggest. Mm. So the Tigers have done all the scoring in the first four minutes of football in this third term. They've kicked one goal, two, to lead by that margin. Eight points. Stafford stood and delivered. Got the nice palm down, but uh, in over the top of the, the, tie, uh, the uh, North Melbourne players go through. Watson will have another ball up. Here's the work rate of two players. Harvey and Coughlin going head-to-head -head at the moment. Brent Harvey, we know he's around the 16-kilometre mark. He's been tracked once before. And Coglin, the young bloke, who's also learning the caper. Lee Brown does the ruck work for the Kangaroos. Jones goes over the top of it. Hall tries to flick it out. Good play by Stevens in the heavy track. Traffic got the kick forward. Harding gave it a little finesse over the top, but it doesn't come off. It spills to Chaffee now. Chaffee on his left boot has a run. Centre wing, good kick out to Cracker. Make peace from behind, just edged him under the ball, but it spills for Fiora. He can run into an open goal. He sits sail for home and has missed. Jeez. Kane Johnson on that oh. middle of the ground. One yeah. goal, one. The only way that that would have been the right decision is if he kicked the goal. Kane Johnson was running free in the middle of the ground, 20 metres out from goal. Sinclair to Watson. Close to the boundary, Grant started well. Shannon Grant oof, up towards the wing. Telemate for Killaway came with a fist, got it on the ground. Rogers goes back to Chaffee to Killaway quickly to his feet. Over the top road and he's on the wing and breaking. Spots Kane Johnson, bypasses him though. Oh, gutsy. Simpson going back with courage. And Stafford in that situation, not a man to be trifled with. <laughs> I was just thinking exactly the same thing. He is one who will get you. And Johnson saying, what have I done to be ignored so much this quarter? Harvey got it from Harris across the ground. Sinclair, metres in the clear, is running. One bounce, down towards half for delicate. Petrie takes the mark. Petrie directly in front. He's actually starting in the centre bounces this quarter just to get amongst it and just physically exert himself in there. Lee Brown then comes in from the back line and becomes the things, mobile ruckman following the ball around. Lee Harding would want to get a few touches at the moment. It's a bit too congested for him. Can't find space with his pace. Watch him run from right to left. Thought he might have gone for the longer option to Harding there further afield, but good lead. Good presentation. Petrie. 13 goals for the season. Kicks from 55. Got the distance. Offline, behind. The first score of the quarter for the Kangaroos. A trail by eight points, eight, six, nine, eight. Just a bit of a lull in the game at the moment. Yeah. If someone can really steal a march here by banging on two or three quick ones. Chaffee, the go-to man again, out of the fence, pushing the back for Richardson.
tenth touch coming up. The big Richo, he's kicked one goal for the night. Wants to give it a good long kick and does just that. They all set themselves. Cracker gets front and square. The ball spills the other side. Good play by Makepeace. It was robbed though by Houlihan. The kick forward. Oh, over the top of it, the kangaroo play. I think it was Sir King went. Punched away. Sinclair. Vital gather thrown to the ground and did what you said before there, Dermot and Gary. Took the ball. Didn't try to flick it out. Yep, you saw result... the tackle, Ed. You, you take the tackle all the way to the ground. I tell you what, the golden rule coaches will preach at training is when you charge the ball, do not under any circumstance let it get it behind you. And that's what the Kangaroos player did out from goal square. Batten tries to get through Archer. No chance of that. Ball up again. Richo playing a lot further up the ground this quarter. He's uh, at the moment he's inside the centre square and a lot of his possessions up around the wing. So Stafford and Lee Brown will do the ruck work. 25, 30 metres out. Oh. Simpson in the end got it. They pushed each other out of the way. Archer decided, I'll break some space. He gets it out to King. King runs his full measure. The handball sits for Robbins. He took a while to get it, then went backwards. Picked up by Harvey now. Harvey takes them all on. Flips it over to Robbins. Robbins over the top. They got numbers and they did it well, the Kangaroos. To Baird on centre wing. Baird looks wide and's got Corey Jones. Couldn't hold the mark. Has a second go at it. Good play there underneath the pack by the Tigers. As it spills out to Watson, out to King, who's gone forward. The bounce, the bounce, the bounce is a goal, is it touched? Oh. Right on the line by Newman. <laughs> a near thing. Newman, right on the line. Yeah, good decision. Watson coming off for the Kangaroos. McCartney again. Could be run to the action to Zantuck, the target of the kick in three on two. What the Tigers is down and hurt. It could be Coglin. Meantime, Robbins taken to ground, held to him, ball up. It is Coglin. And that was a heavy collision. They came from all angles. And again, it's a teammate. And that is a terrible landing. They're doing all the damage at the moment, the teammates. Yeah, can't be trusted. 60 metres out, off hands. Well done by Simpson. Finished up with Stevens from Harris. Hooks it inside the 50. In front of the pack, Robbins. Did pretty well. Well, will the fairy tale be complete? Oh. McCartney is missed. His first kick back. Jason McCartney hasn't missed by much. Well done. That'll be easier for him now. He just needed to get hands on. Just needed to re-familiarise himself with the ball. Johnson wide. We've got a game on our hand, it's a goal of the difference. Bowden on defensive 50. Richo presents himself, he'll fly for this mark. He gets to the pack, it's a big pack, Petri over the top, Houlihan flicks it out wider, still looking for Johnson, takes it to the boundary line, Stevens makes sure of it. Oh, there you go. No, go away. Go, no, steve -O. At the footy, at the footy. Yeah, Kane Johnson wasn't too happy with the Irish whipping of the turnbuckle on that occasion. There's a bit of uh, wrestling in Steve O's flip back too. Ball to Roden. And another bounce. Dr. Peter Larkins, an update. Coglin to the bench. Yeah, just had a quick walk up the boundary of the doctor and they've given him the all clear to go back. Just rattled for a half a, half a minute or so, Ed, and uh, should be right to go back. You'll see him back on a chain soon. Bounce on the other side then. Hall works in front, knocked it down. Harris. Roden over the football, but again, again, the umpire called upon. Bit of niggle away from the ball. Oh, that'll take the wind out of it. No way to fall. Reaching over the top no. hall, Bowden foxing for a free. Simpson towards the outer side, coming off 38 possessions last week. Kellaway, did he keep it in? Initially he did, Fiora couldn't. And the ball goes across the line. That 38 for Simpson, his second highest total of his career behind 41 against Geelong, round 19 of 2001. That's McCartney. He's had a kick now. He's kicked the behind. And really, a lot of the tension should be off him. He would have played this game a thousand times in his mind. Brown kicks it inside the 50. Here's Harding, pulls it across his body. It bounces through for a goal, his first. Got the jump on Ty Zantac. 
Lee Harding, and it was one of those very rapidly end over in balls. You've watched this one that can Good pop tight. out. I reckon that ties Antuck just second guessed a bit and thought. I reckon this might jump over the head, but he didn't. It was a good clean take. Nice finish from Lee Harding. Who, as you rightly pointed out, Dermot needs to get busier. Just his third possession. There's plenty of argy-bargy going <laughs> on, as you'd expect. <laughs> Petri, he's a big, he is a mountain of a kid, isn't he? Ty Zantuck, his father Shane started his career at North Melbourne. He's... Uncle, of course, uh, Arnold Brightus, a two-time premiership star. Scores level at the Telstra Dome, and we've been going for 13 minutes in this third turn. Up it goes. Ray Hall couldn't hold the mark. The ball spills out wide from Baird. Good play by Harvey. Gets it out to Sinclair. Sinclair goes up the line looking for Morrell. Did well to keep it in. He flicked it back to Harris. Harris over the top was good football. Petri applies to Shepard. Morrell can crash through and does from 50. Digby can have a go. He's doing a lot of dancing. Not much movement though. But Harvey can run to the open goal and he misses. Oh, Brent Harvey. He actually instructs. He instructs young Wells to Shepard for him. He points behind him here. And the ball comes through. Just watch him with his right hand, Harvey. There, he just says, you shepherd him for me, and he just didn't get the acceleration around the turn. He's had Matthew Rogers all night, Brent Harvey, and he's just started to run him over at the moment. Bruised by a point. There's Chaffee. One and a half Chaffee, minutes Chaffee. out from three-quarter time. The game very much in the balance. Here's Kane Johnson to Gaspar. Doesn't break stride. Down towards half forward, Richardson gets down low, took the half volley, now he's got a problem. Watt runs away from him. Jones, high ball towards the wing, will it stay in? Oh, oh touch and go. Well, Harris juggled it. It was paid a mark, he centers the ball. Petrie's the target, strong hands. Whack this youngster, slow start tonight, but he's a good player. Well, right on the line, as you saw, meantime, Harding gets loose again. Obviously, those comments are spur, and now he'll kick a goal from about 35 metres out. He's getting busy. Yeah, and once the game starts opening up into space, there's the camera on him there. Once you can find a bit of space, Lee Harding's main attribute, main weapon, is his pace. He is electrifying off the mark. Morell made his first goal. Now, completely in his own hands. For a second, Harding kicks. That is tight, it's good. He's kicking him a bit if you're too late, Harding. Ooh. He's been able to manage the last couple. You're on knife's edge when he has the set shot. And this is a, this is a terrific five minutes for the Kangaroos, who... Early in this game, early in this quarter, in fact, just looked like they were off, not off the boil, but the tempo just dropped off a little bit, but they uh, bounced back. Get the feeling that there isn't going to be a blowout to him. I think this thing might go right down to the wire. It's two goals to one to the Kangaroos this quarter. They lead by seven points. Disposals 52, the Kangaroos 32. Richmond for this quarter. Inside 50s, eight for the Kangas, five for the Tigers. And Brown two again. one, as I said. Brown goes forward. Another inside 50. Here's a chance for Shannon Grant. He couldn't quite get around his opponent. Did well, Tippendale. Now he comes backwards to Stevens. Stevens goes short. Oh, Harding was the man on the lead. Good play, though, by Callaway. Oh. Tigers in trouble. Timberdale goes to Grant. Got the handball out. <laughs> kept his composure. Out it comes down. Fleming twisting and turning. He's dropped the ball. In go the Kangaroos again. Stevens high up and under. Shepard required. Nothing there though. Grant had to wait for the ball to come down. It took an eternity. Good if you're playing gridiron. Not so good if you're playing AFL. As the ball is close to the boundary line. Brown kept his feet, did well. Now he goes to ground, tries to flick it out to his skipper who will lock it up. Now it flicks up by good play from Otten and another magnificent smother Sweet. from that man, Glenn Archer, over the line and out of bounds. Courage required, and Courage has lifted in this third quarter on both sides. When they were 36 points down last week, the youngsters of the Kangaroos, they swung Brown into the midfield along with Harris, and they did the job. They're back in now. Plenty of pushing and shoving. It was read beautifully by Simpson. He kicks forward. McCartney comes out off the hands of the oh. pack. He crashed the pack. It sits for Petrie, and Petrie misses when he should have maybe dished. 
clearances, <laughs> clearances this quarter with Brown and Harris going in there again, helping them out in the middle. It's like a step-up year for them. Two weeks in a row they've done it. The Kangaroos have had seven clearances this quarter to Richmond's two, so they're really starting to get on top in that area. And the kick to the goal square, Jason McCartney will just crash and bash and get the ball to ground and something happens. It has to be a weapon for both of these two teams to use. Petrie two behinds in this turn. Chaffee on the outer side, short. Fleming, full-chested. There's a left half back. Kangaroos looking very good at the moment. Rogers. Plays on, down towards half forward. Pitches short at the target, I think. It may have been intended for Stafford. Richardson was up. The crumb came to Brown, to Robbins, to King. King storms through the wing. Penetrating kick. Grant gets across. Couldn't complete the mark. Goes after it. Runs outside the 50. Ball inside the 50. Pulls after it. Gets the hand pass to Wells. He couldn't get any traction. Chaffee goes for the boundary line. It will be tossed in. Richmond are a show here. They need to show that they can have a takeaway now in one of their strength areas, which is boundary line throw-ins. This is very telling, this one here right now. Tossed in, spills behind the pack. Rogers couldn't control it. Gaspar in an awkward situation. McCartney got him. It was that in the back. I thought it was to Petrie. Nothing doing. He did jump him at the end, Dennis. Mm. He fell forward. But then when he fell, fell right to ground, he jumped over the top of him. No danger there. Just over six minutes till three-quarter time then. And the Roos are coming strong. Tigers need to hold here. Umpire working overtime. Stafford hooks it down. Simpson so adept at taking the crumb, though. Worked at goal with Gaspar put his body on the line. Bowden to Rogers in an awkward situation. Did well. Zantaka thought he was going. Umpire says he did. Ooh. Zantuck sets it up, McCartney's the man here, got the all-important punch, Robbins, as he pushed in the back, no, says the umpire, another smother, but the Tigers keep possession as Rogers gets it out to Tippendale, Tippendale wants to get onto that left boot, a spearing kick forward, looking for Otten, so, and, and uh, as they came, look at this, right over the top of the ball, did well, threw it out, Brown to the boundary line, throw in. Whoa, Richo had to take the footy with him through in that uh, crumb situation. Where's Adam Simpson going at the clearances? Well, there you go, on screen, you have it now. That yep. good. Killing them. Run it right out! Wells has a spell as Watson comes on for the Kangaroos. Ruckman aren't doing any ruck work tonight, they're just blocking as the ball comes out to Sinclair, to King. King kicks up, three on three. Morrell got up for the big stretch, couldn't wow. hold the mark, but a beautiful tackle. Chaffee got it down, finessing it with Zantuck. It comes out to Bowden, yeah. beautiful kick in the middle of the ground to Kraken. Kraken now plays on, decides to kick long, looking for Richardson. It was beautiful vision. The kick was pretty good as well. Out comes Richo. He can feed off to King or do the big U-turn. The side's on the U-turn. Now he kicks, looking for Timondale and Ottens, and Ottens has got it. Beautiful play there by Richo. And Big Brad Ottens in game 100, welcome back to big time football. Has a chance with his first kick tonight. Well, he probably just came off Richardson here. Rather than attacking, they thought he was going to handball off. Someone had to go and put some pressure on him. And he had too much time to, to deliver in that manner to Brad Ottens. This bloke is a magnificent kick of the footy, Brad Ottens, as we know. Hasn't played footy all year, obviously. In game 100, he's kicked 126 goals, 66. This to get back within two points. Brad Ottens comes in. Tiger fans tell you the score. It's a major. There was a couple of great bits of vision, really. It was, first of all, Bowden able to see Cracker in the middle of the ground and hit him. And then Cracker here, it's a beautiful kick. Just kicked it off centre, gave him plenty of room. Forwards love that. If you're going to make a mistake with your delivery, make sure it's in front and Richo was able to run onto it. He's worn Shannon Watt down. He's he's quick he's played one. up to him this quarter, played well up the ground. Two points the difference on Friday night football. It's a beauty. Approaching three quarter time. Stafford in oh, two minds right there. Here. Petrie did well, got it down to Stevens. Scrambles a kick towards half forward. Gaspar in front. Controls it nicely, Gaspar pulls it back towards the middle. Taylor made for Harvey, oh, did brilliantly knock it forward. Harvey runs onto it, 
Bowden stripped him of the football. Fiore's got it. Plenty of support around him. That confused him a little. Jams it on the boot down towards half forward. Sinclair goes back. Takes the mark. Good Spots switch. a man towards the outer side. Stevens. He's got the football forward at half back. Can go deep. Petrie takes the mark. A runner alongside Watson. Hard against the boundary line. Beautiful finish. Morel's on. Grant's got the football just outside the 50. Goes to Jones. He caught by on. Oh. Well, that's interesting on a couple of counts there. Anticipated it, Dennis. The call for play on must have been the man with the footy. Right out, please. Could have been a little confusing. No, that was a mark. No, that was a mark. That was a mark. So, Jones. <laughs> he, he, I reckon he, he just likes getting on camera. I was going to say, I think he's got a spotter's feet. <laughs> mind, mind you, I would listen. <laughs> yes, then. He'll come back in. Well done, Kingy. So, Jones to stretch the lead to eight points approaching three-quarter time. The Tigers have come back strongly in the last five minutes. Jones works it and hits the post. It was going a long way left to right. We spoke before. A big hook footer. He's got two behinds in this turn. Both teams have got a loose man in defence. So really it all comes down to how well you use the ball going forward. Stretching Zantuck. Gasper back to Zantuck. Water still to Callaway. Short. Mm. Just the 15. Now look at all the kangaroo at the uh, Richmond players around him. See them all on screen there. That means the kangaroos got all their weight and numbers down the other end. So he's got no real targets to go at. Richo has to go to the pocket. Good grab. Beautiful grab. Cameron's kick was a good one too. Set it up for Richo. Now the Tigers on full attack. He's grinding down Shannon Watt with fitness. Sixth mark. He thumps it long. Ottens at full forward. Up they go. Plenty cool. of kangaroos up. Robbins. Sinclair, yep, picked it up off his bootlaces. Runs back into a bit of trouble now. Robbins over the top. That was very good handballing. Watt back now to Sinclair. This is an important kick. It's a good one too. Stevens underneath it takes the mark. He's developed into a good playmaker, Jess Sinclair. Harvey, sweeping handball. Runs Arch into trouble. Good play by Stevens. Good kick too, out wide. And Petri takes the mark at half forward. But all the numbers are back at both ends as we sit, so this is why it's so slow going forward. The switch is on. Oh, great result. Digby Morrell goes short, no 15. Play on. King will have a shot. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that, Ed. There's Digby's back looking. Point. Should be dusted for Prince. Oh, that wasn't in the back. But they needed to do more, more than that. The Kangaroos, it was a terrific kick when there was nothing on down the ground to come across. Uh, yeah, he might have crumbled at the knees, diggers. Four scoring shots more, the Kangaroos. Four points, the difference. Tillendale to bring it in then. Oh, that's dangerous. Baird, not very early. It's going to be a free kick. It'll go to Coglin. Baird didn't play that one very well. They've had trouble defending the kick-ins tonight, the Kangaroos. Sometimes players, they forget what's around them. Like, you had to know there was three on one there, and all you had to do was do it to ground. Coglin goes out wide for Yora. Tivendale. Two left footers combining to the pocket. Oh, oh big bad. leap down there. That would be a test. Ottens hit the ground hard, but the Kangaroos bring it away. Harding in defence. Drives it long. Simpson from behind him and played it pretty well. Finds it on the ground, knocks it. Collides with Grant. And the ball is across the boundary line. Well played. Ooh. It's a 2-7 to 2-2. Kangaroos favour this quarter. Kangaroos had 14 inside 50s to the Tigers 7. Mm. Fitness test there for Brad Ottens. Pure and simple. Tossed it on the outer side. Stafford tries to hook it wide of the pack. Into a dangerous area. Like a cork in the ocean. Newman bounced to his feet. Hooks it around his body. Zanza. Plays on immediately for Yora. Storming down towards half forward into Mines. Honors the lead from Roden. Roden is about 35 metres out. Awkward angle about 15 metres in from the line. The darting eyes. He wants to lay it off. But now may be forced to take a shot as the Kangaroos flood back. David Roden. Troy Makepeace does give you a shot at it. 
will get the distance. Has he got the accuracy? No, he misses to the near side. Had a bit of a win, Danny Frawley. He's got uh, Ottens back onto the ground, which meant that uh, Lee Brown had to go back and cover him for a period of time, which takes him away from the middle where he's been Work, so dominant. It? And uh, that was a good, that was a terrific result because Lee Brown has had a fair influence on the game. David Roden has kicked one goal three for the match. Kangaroos by three points. 27 and a half minutes gone. And missed the third turn. Harvey over the top. What? So what has the ball in the back pocket? They've got to have a loose one somewhere. There it is. They do. They're playing one behind the ball, Richmond. So it's just a matter of that corresponding one for the kangaroos just finding space and they can edge their way right up and that's it that's why they're all holding the ball there was only a matter of five seconds left when that kick came forward and at three-quarter time the kangaroos lead by three points kangaroos 10 12 72 we're in for a thriller richmond 10 9 69 and jason mccartney with the Number on his breast there, 88, 202. 88 Australians perishing in Bali at the bombing, 202 worldwide. Dermot, of course, uh, emotional for you because yeah. you were lucky to miss it by a matter of about 20 minutes. Oh, about three, eight. So. About three minutes. Yep. Went the right way. Thank God. As the ball out of the centre is Stevens. Fiora does well, head over the top of it, gets the handball going. It's Fleming for the Tigers. Johnson sold into trouble, hand passes it out towards the wing. Otten's put his body on the line. Fleming came again, socket off the deck by Brown. Good use of the body by Robbins. Clever, got it to Grant, ran into trouble, taken down by Bell. Well Brown again, got it to King, penetrating kick inside the 50. McCartney behind, and McCartney has taken the mark. And listen to that roar. And look, and I am just so full of praise for the people with this sense of sportsmanship here. The rich, there's rich people in the Richmond cheer squad applauding in this effort here. I see it is set up. I tell you what. That mark was all about determination. Well, he's... He's got dray loads of it. Imagine the lift this will give the kangaroos. You dare say, as his wife Carissa looks on, if they, he kicks this, they will be very hard to toss. What a start to the term it would be. Jason McCartney knows how to kick them. Well, the result, the result is almost irrelevant. Have a listen to that. Is uh, well, people, every people, in the, everyone in the crowd here is celebrating that. Everyone in the field within the vicinity of 150 metres round to Jason McCartney. It's a good and mark. They are going to be tough to toss from you, do it? It's a good mark, too. Now, well, the symbolism of all that magnificent, as Dennis said in his opening remarks, transcends football. One for the good guys. And the Kangaroos lead by nine points. And well may Marissa shed a tear there. Yeah, a tear of happiness. Either, uh, either, I've got to say. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. 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 Eighteen and a half minutes left in the final term. King goes to ground. Stevens puts him there. We'll have another bounce. One goal, one tonight for Jason McCartney. But a bigger goal was achieved as he ran onto the ground. Big news, not all over either tonight. They'll have a ball up. Stick with us, of course, tonight. AFL on nine will be going straight to the rooms. Tony Jones will be speaking to Jason McCartney immediately after the game. And all the atmosphere from the rooms, as I said, maybe some more big news to come. Down goes Taffy. I think he'll get a free kick after some good work by Ottens. I don't know what Kingy was thinking. There's Rogers, short. Ottens has got it again. Some runners outside. Goes very wide. The mark is taken by Zanta. Looks younger than my good shoes. Young face playing well, pushing up the ground. Kicks inside the 50. Big leap at the back, Archer. 
Makepeace has got it. In trouble. Doubles back with some time. And one of those shopping trolleys eventually gets it to Jones. <laughs> Jones miscues with a kick outside the 50. Rogers trying to knock it down to a teammate. Didn't spike it all that well. It's out of bounds. They have gone too wide. They will not win the game, Richmond, unless they run harder and kick to the goal square where Stafford is positioned against Baird. Get a contest or a mark, a mark at best, a contest for the Crummers. They've got to attack a goal square. Tossed in right on the 50. Watton Richardson. Richardson hooks it down behind the pack. Fleming in trouble. Read brilliantly by Jones. Breaks away. Oh, a bit casual. Harvey not so. Running hard. Sinclair. Arches the back, slides the hand pass wider still. Stevens ample time to recover. Well, he gives it back to the youthful Sinclair who chips beautifully and somehow that ball had eyes. It's found its way to the man surrounded Harvey. There's Fiora hobbling. Get the runner Brent Harvey. Can he cover some ground? Well, what about this? Well, it got there. Mark Coughlin's lost his way since he got crunched in the third quarter. They've lost his ability to find the ball at the stoppages, and the Kangaroos not only are winning the stoppages now, they're getting the great uh, run carry with the ball through the middle. Harvey, who made his debut against the Tigers, ran 22 of 96. This is to the near side. It was a Sunday game at the MCG. The Kangaroos won by 32 points, but he didn't play in the grand final a month later. And uh, two behinds now to Brent Harvey, normally a dead-eye dick. And Tarves. Both gettable, certainly by his standards. Rogers kicked out to a two-on-one situation, but Fleming was equal to the challenge. Beautiful play by Fleming, who's had a good night tonight. He's had a fantastic battle with King as well at times. Coughlin. He'll know he's played a game of football tomorrow when he wakes up. We'll have a throw in at half fourth flank for the Tigers. It's ten points the difference, as you can see. Fifteen and three-quarter minutes left in the match. Glenn Arch has gone back to halfback, where he will come off his man, put his body on the line for his club, and just wheel them across the line. Don't hold! Don't hold! Stafford gets the tap to Clinton King, thumped on by Bowden. Harvey, as busy as always, gets the handball out to Sinclair, shows the ball, finds a bit of space, then runs out of it, slams it onto the boot, high up and under. Watson did well to compete. King, pull a hand, it's hot in there at the moment. Ball up. Pretty much on centre wing. 79 plays, 69. Ticking down to the 15-minute mark to go in this quarter and the match. It's seventh versus eighth. The two Victorian teams in the eight at the moment. And you think there's a half a chance whoever loses tonight will be out of the eight come Monday night. Bowden thumps it long. The big setup for Ottens is there. Good play by Baird. Oh, they make the right crack. He's got the goal. Make piece right over the top of it. Kicks his third. Bad time. And Dermot, lo and behold, a long ball to the goal square. Contest, crumb, small crummer, goal. It's not rocket science. I'll tell you what is really noticeable about that is when Greg Stafford gets to stand next to Lee Brown, oh. he mauls him at the bounce downs, and that is a goal directly from a stoppage. Now, as I said, Kangaroos have been on top of the stoppages, but if Stafford can do that, Four points to the margin. Cracker. That quick silver here. Half chance. Like a predator. Pounces. Gets the goal. Wonderful stuff. Much, much more dangerous in that goal square than out in the pocket, uh, Dennis. Wells is on the ground at the opposite end. And capable of doing the same thing. Stafford hooks it down. Johnson out of the middle. Four points to the margin. And Richardson in front takes the mark. And I'd suggest within range. Stafford mauled Lee Brown at that bounce down out on the half forward flank, which resulted in the goal to Cracker. And he just clearly got that hit down to his two teammates underneath him at the centre bounce then. Greg Stafford almost controls the fate of this game. As they've been killed at the clearances, Richmond. But he's mauling Lee Brown at the last three clearances. When you think about it, bold decision to go with Ottens at the start of this tour. Yes, indeed. If you're going to play him, though, I guess you yeah. game's on the line. Yeah. I'm 
almost be inclined to go for Petri in at the centre bounces and then let Lee Brown filter through there thereafter. So Richo starts his run on Flinders Lane, <laughs> comes up to the 50 and Miss Kills completely helicopter ball. Somebody needed to touch it, they did. The yeah. defender's not having a very good day. Cracker in stark contrast did brilliantly. Oh. Stevens, an old head, concedes a behind. But that is the beauty of putting the ball in that spot, is that it does instill some panic in a defence, and things tend to happen. You can say that again, and uh, Troy Makepeace panicking at the moment. Thanks, Mike. Fair throw, by the way. Yeah, not far off a throw, <laughs> was it? So the margin, three points, 11-13 plays, 11-10, 13 and a half minutes left in this game. <laughs> it hasn't been emotional enough. It's going to go to the wire. Umpire says, hurry up. Now the kick, three Tigers, Richo's one of them. Tivendale jumps yeah, it beautifully. He's and he's probably the one you want to have with the ball because Richo goes forward and takes the mark right on the 50. He'll have another oh, go. Cracker. <laughs> We're all on the oh, pile. It's going to be 50 then. So that is either play on or 50. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe call time off. Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, hang on, have a look at this. Technically it's 50 because he didn't go yeah. on. Yeah, that is yeah. what played on. Gary's absolutely right. One or the other. Straight up and down. Well, instead of lining up from on the goal line, he's 53 metres out from goal. He got too close to the man on mark last kick. Gives it a big hoik. He turns right and then straightens up. Won't make the distance. Still in play. Ottens couldn't quite hold it. Over the line and out of bounds. Throw in. What a game this has been. 43,200 here tonight. Tossed in. Alongside the behind post. Simpson worked in front. Bowden off balance. Hooks it high. They'll compete right on the kickoff line. Cracker almost made something out of nothing. Couldn't find a path through. Taken down. Beard over the top. Ball up. Notice well too that it was Simpson who was third man up. His direct opponent, Joel Bowden, stayed down. And he's the one who got boot to ball. First possession thereafter. Attendance tonight, 43,200. Kangaroos lead it by three points. Bounce. Close to the Tigers attacking goal. Ottens tries to direct it down to Cracker. Spills to the pocket. Houlihan camped over the football. Attracted a crowd. Harris in trouble. Coglin came hard. Simpson on the angle knocks it out of bounds. I'll tell you what, Stafford is that imposing at the bounce downs. He wasn't in there, but he's still 70 metres away further up the field. He should be he should just get down there and maul Lee Brown again. Big it's finish. Ottens. Friday night football, one forward by Ottens, Roden had it, lost it, oh. Archer knows no other way, threw his body in, found the footy, taken down, and a bounce this time, 35 metres out from goal, <laughs> under 12 minutes till full time. Richmond a record of 6-4, and four. the Kangaroos 5-4-1. The at and at one. the footy, at the footy. Seems to have been in this Tiger forward 50 for the last 10 minutes or so, doesn't it? In goes Jess Sinclair. Fleming hey, in, grabbed oh. out, free Hasn't kick. Yeah. Something. Ball's gone. Ball's well and truly gone. Thanks, David. Straight back. Thank you. So Fleming has uh, attracted the ire of a number of kangaroo yeah, players. Certainly didn't have the ball. It's a free kick. Thanks, mate. Started Thank off you. with it, Ed. Thanks, Tim. Yeah. He struggled. Uh, he only just got it across the line from closer than this. I don't think he kicked it that well, his last goal, but he's still testing. You know the limit, can you? kicked four goals for his career. This is only his ninth game, of course, originally from Old Severians. Won't make the distance. The boys tipped it. Yeah. They tell me Richo has somehow in amongst the huge pack. Hold your pulled breath. it in. Hold your breath, Ed. It's not through yet. Oh, Play God. on. He's got it back to Houlihan, and the kangaroos were slow reacting there. They're big blokes in Richmond, Ottens and Richardson, or Stafford and Ottens, or Stafford and Richardson are not getting any shorter down there, and they have had their hands on the last four contested situations. Just missed on one or two occasions, but they are starting to look the difference. To put the Tigers in front, Houlihan comes in and does just that. Tigers by three points. His second... Well, the Richmond big men have tag-teamed Lee Brown. So much so that they've just 
exhausted him. He's been taken from the ground now. I reckon with 10 minutes to go, 10 and a half minutes, he'll probably have three, four, five minute breather. Come back for a last five minute tilt and there'll be a running ruck when they put Porter in there. Right now, Matthew Richardson is a dynamic player on the lead, but when the opportunity presents itself, should be happy to take a contested mark in the goal square. So the Tigers now by three points. Back in the middle, Brown off the ground. Porter called on. Hooked down by Stafford. King out of the middle. Only goes about 15 metres, barely. Play on's the call. Jones has got it. In trouble. Lays it off. Sinclair likewise got the arm free. Irresistible force from the Tigers, but Harris didn't have the football. He's going to get the free. Consistent umpiring there. And about time so the kangaroo fans. 13 frees, Richmond. Six kangaroos. 19 for the game. Amazing. Short one from Harris to Porter inside the centre square then. Under 10 minutes remaining in this one. Chips it wide. Baird pushes up. He's got the ball on the wing. Books towards half forward. Goes for space. Morell the target. Two players around him. Chaffee came hard. Knocked it down in front. Over the top came Zantuck. Whistle, ball up inside the 50. Good hard work by Morell in there. Interesting player, Morell. He's got all the tools. Dean Laidley riding it out. Here's the bounce. Stafford back to back with Porter. Porter won it down. Harding with pace comes away. Hasn't got the finish though. Was it across the line? This is a big call. Yep, goal umpire gave it out of bounds. It's a good result. On the bounce, yeah. Well, it's not as good as a goal, clearly, but it's the next best for the Kangaroos. Fourth in the league at scoring from clearances. So Big Porter gets his chance. Hasn't had much influence on this game. Big opportunity here against Stafford. Up they go. Morell flicked it out the back. Callaway conceded ground out to Rogers, who kicks around the body. Gasper takes the mark, goes to ground in front of McCartney. Good kick. Yeah, and a tough grab too. He did a yep. fair pirouette. Out to Kellaway. Kellaway, who's kicking at times, can let him down. Not on this occasion, though. Clinton King, still on defensive 45. The Roos have done pretty well to keep him in the defensive 50. Probably had half a dozen kicks. Wider still. Rogers, still inside the defensive 50. Now he goes long to Ray Hall. Ball goes out there, got a shove in the back there from Baird. And they take the free kick on centre wing. Bad kick. Ball's kick inside 50. Richardson is the target. He's got to the front end. In front of Watton took the mark. He's 55 out. Now Ottens is the man. The lead comes out. Stevens gets across. Make peace. Drop the mark though. Porter stood up. Wells trying to find oh. a bit of space. He's taken it all and out of bounds. Then handball off. <laughs> Tell you what, Simpson didn't expect that, but he did it well. Good reflexes. Morell must mark this because he's surrounded by Tigers. But it was done beautifully there by Zantuck. He gets it out to Newman. Newman looks out wide. He has Bowden on. Bowden does it well. Takes the mark. Wanted to play on. Now he does. To Chappie. Chappie's kick around the corners. Picked wow. up by Stevens. He had a second look at it. Showed it to the crowd, but he got it. He's injured, Anthony Stevens. We got the doctor watch him. He's got a big limp up when he's running along at the Whoa, moment. Well, this is danger because Harris let out, but he was surrounded by Tigers. Now they got the middle. Baird needs to get the kick away. He does to Porter, who's found a bit of space. Ran back, though. Gets a lead from Shannon Grant. The kick, though, was an absolute shocker. Turns Grant inside out, and Timmendale takes the mark. When you're tired and weary, you can't play perfect footy. Both sides. So the percentage play is to move it quick, get it long. Bullahan on the wing. A brief lull, just over seven minutes to go. Tigers by three points. Just a terrific game tonight. Bullahan sets it up towards the 50. Bowden stayed out of the contest. Watt came back, got a fist on it. Make peace, running out of space. Decides oh. to keep it alive. Simpson told into trouble. Well, oh, off the ground, out on the fall. Simpson should have got a free kick for over the shoulder. But the umpire couldn't have been expected to see that. Rotten's on Archer in the goal square. Richardson then, 70 metres out, sends it long. Ottens works off his man, fisted away by Archer, camped in front, Baird. They're going in solidly. Houlihan got a hand pass away. Cracker touched off the boot. Great. Right. Make peace. Seen a few of those tonight from both clubs, particularly the Kangaroos. 
Wow. Wow. Well, six and a half minutes left in the game. The shin bone of spirit. Can it lift to turn this into a fairy tale oh, game of football? Right Wells has kicked the penetration and the kick was magnificent. Harvey has two bounces, runs to forward 50. Now he comes in board. Mark has been taken by Petri. Then a 360 has Harding out wide. The call is kicked to the pocket. Here they go. Out they come, Morrell. Zantuck, Morrell got it somehow. Good tackle by Zantuck. Thrown to the ground, will have a bounce. Pick pocketed him. Good tackle. Good chance to get rid of it. liked it too. Got to get some pace around the bandstand if you're a kangaroo fan. The likes of Harding, Harvey, and Stafford is the danger here. Kangaroos haven't been able to uh, score a goal That's since. A free. That should be a free. The first minute of this quarter. He's got to go on the full. Yeah, on the full. We're up to 19 minutes gone. It's changed, hasn't oh, it? He's got to go to on the full. full. Yeah. I thought if it was direct hit out, didn't matter. Throw in. Right. Okay. Stafford got the tap. Good play by Watson. He threw it out. It could come out to Grant, does it? No. Back inside went Stevens. Harding takes the ball on. <laughs> He's got to try, though. We'll have a throw in. Oh, yeah. You have to be. Yeah, fair enough, King. You won't take that. Keep it to the other side. Shut up. Tightest one on one here from Richmond defenders' point of view. Here we go. Inside five and a half minutes. It's four points the difference. Stafford gets the tap. Harris has been good tonight. Harding got in his way. Got the little kick forward. Good diving mark by Tindale, who has been excellent tonight as well. Goes across the goal front. That's risky. Gaspar, unkind Barnes. Petrie is there with him. Newman tried to lend assistance, but really couldn't do much. And the ball is across the boundary line. That wasn't a good option. 20 possessions to Greg Tivendale. Now, this has been in the back every week for the last 10. Yep. Yep. But the game is on the line here. <laughs> Five minutes to go. Tossed in. Stafford works in front. Harris has been good at close quarters. Spills it wide. Grant stumbles. Got the hand pass away. Simpson has been terrific. Pulls it back towards the middle from behind Chaffee. Off hand Zanta. What's he thinking? The <laughs> hand passes are behind. You won't run away from this kid, Daniel Wells. No. Greg Stafford has not missed a hit out to advantage in the entire fourth quarter. Why would you ever bounce after two Dunno. steps? Dunno. Pressure. Yeah. There's Tippendale. Tigers by three points then. Short to Kellaway. Under five minutes to go, as we mentioned. Fresh man on. Kane Johnson, who's had a bit of a spell for 10, 15 minutes. I'll get some run out of him in the last, what is it, four and a half minutes. This kick is very important. Kellaway knows that. He'll be told to play on soon. Out of defence, Kellaway. High ball towards the wing. Gaspar comes in at hard. Oh. Almost the mark. Spills to Roden. Johnson from half back goes towards half forward. Richardson does well, didn't complete the mark. Clever hands away though. Call inside the 50. Cracker up and over by Mate Pace. Kangaroos bound out of defence. Men on in midfield. McCartney has one too much carry. Bowden takes the mark. Back it comes for the Tigers. High ball. Houlihan has to wait. Knocked away by Watt. Loose in front of the pack. Gathered by Roden. Roden right on the 50. Wells got him. That's holding the ball. Wonderful chase. Wonderful chase by Wells. The damage is paid. There it goes to Sinclair. Wider still on the other side. This is Simpson. Tips inside the 50. Wonderful rebound opportunity. Grant measures his kick. It kicks his third. What a turnaround. What a chase. There would have been no better pair of hands to have the ball in from that angle in the Kangaroos' team carry than Shannon Grant. And no better pair of legs to be chasing a bloke down. He's the Lord's guy. Look at that. That is just... That, could, that is a game-breaker, that one. Right there, Daniel Wells has cracked this game open. Yeah. That's the reaction to uh, Roden off the ground, paying the sin. They were going forward, and they had men on them. It's a thriller on Friday Night Football. The Roos now lead it by three points as a result of that chase. That Deep in defence. Cracked the game open. Danny Frawley smacked the bench, and David Roden now sitting on his own bench. So the test with the Tigers. 
Still plenty of time. Stafford dumps it down towards half forward. Oh. Chopped off initially by Stevens. Robbed of it. Fleming. Long ball to full forward. Must be a free kick to Watkins. Doesn't matter. Took the mark. That's, that's a mark. And that's a, that's a fair thump out from Greg Stafford. He's protected. He's identified where the drop zone is. Oh, he's got a hand in the face. He's got he's a hand in the face. He's got The arch had his left hand over the top of Watkins' yeah. head. Watkins. Game number 100, going at his second right here. Under three minutes remain. It's all about the clock. It's all about accuracy right here. Ottens from 15 metres out gets the goal, his second. Tigers lead. Well, there's been a couple of big plays. The start of this game, the last quarter, the man who has been well, the symbol of tonight's game, Jason McCartney, kicks a goal. But this fellow here, Brad Ottens, he's also had an impact coming back for his first game for the year after back surgery. And those tools deep inside have all had an impact. Richards and Ottens and Stafford in the middle of the ground. He has blitzed it in this last quarter, Greg Stafford. Well, it's a tactic that has stood the test of time. Kick it long to the big fella. Porter has to get busy, he has to get angry and make a contest here. Five lead changes in this term, Rucks go at it, neither of them touched it. Barden feeds it back, Hoglin left it behind, attracts a crowd immediately, Fleming feeds it out, right on the whistle. This is Porter. where Stafford is really good, when he can actually stand shoulder to shoulder against someone like Porter. He's just been mauling him, has not missed a hit out this, this quarter. Let's see how Porter goes this time. Stafford, clean possession. Oh, they got him the ball. ball. Wow. <laughs> he was penalised. Old Took habits die hard. Penalised because he was too strong. Porter swings it wide into the path of Harris. He took his eye off the football. It bounced alongside him. A companion. He kicks inside the 50. That awards full forward runs the ball. McCartney toe pokes it. Picked up by Harding. He goes in. Another lead change. Pace of Harding once again. Once again, Lee Harding can split things open. He can break the game with his pace here. But Jason McCartney just had the sense, he had the knowledge to get to the front spot. Holds his body there with strength and just nudges it on. Pace, here's the centre bounce again. Well, they paid that early, Dermot. Yep. And that is fair enough. But the pace of Harding, but I tell you, this is... Don't underestimate uh, McCartney in this play. That is a mongrel kick. Oh. Strength, presence of mind, get it on the boot. The only result that would have been better than that was Jason McCartney belted it through. That is just magnificent. And we're going to stretch the situation. Darren Gaspo is a player down. He had knee problems, I think, early in the week. There was a query over him at training. Had a fitness test. Was cleared to play. Oh. Now in the hands of the trainer. So, drama everywhere. Less, what, less than two minutes on the clock? Yep. It was 2.40 on the, as we started the last play. Let's go down to TJ. Yeah, I certainly don't want to steal the docks thunder, but um, Gaspar jarred his knee at training on Tuesday. He had a secret session before the main group yesterday morning and certainly got through OK. He was zigzagging all over the place, but uh, clearly it's just buckled under him tonight. Gee, a little bit a look of resignation there on the face of Darren Gaspar. Let's hope that that is not... The worst case scenario, but uh, big ask now for Leon Cameron to try and match up against Drew Petrie. Now, watch the knee buckle under him here. Oh, that doesn't even do that. Nothing in that, was there? He just screams. There's absolutely nothing in that, which sometimes can be the worst possible result. Gee, was, it wasn't even a pivot leg, was no. it? Now, I remember David Schwartz doing his in exactly the same fashion. Three points the difference. Ruiz on top. Porter reaches over the top. Knocks it down. Coughlin's got it. In trouble. Lays it off. Newman still inside the centre square. Juggled mark is taken there by Fleming. Alongside the centre circle. Those two have a history tonight. Fleming feeds it wide. Houlihan kicks inside the 50. Richardson battles in front. Almost the mark. Play on the call. Stevens heads for the boundary line. It will be tossed in. Clock stops at 1.29. Biggest, biggest clearance situation in the match here. You got Ottens in the square on Brown. You'd fancy that. You know Richardson on Watt is going beautifully. Arch is the loose man down there to be third man up. Big play here. Oh. Tossed in. 60 metres from the Tigers attacking goal. Stafford was in front. 
diving on top of the football in there is Simpson. Or is it Watson? Watson to the base hands. of the pack. Timmy, it changed hands. It came now, it changed hands. Joel, hey, it did. You heard the explanation. Hey, Simo, let's go. Tiffendale sits off the back of the pack here. He'll try and sweep. Daniel Wells is trying to cover two players here, Newman and Tiffendale. Clock is still running. Stafford got a hand free. Knocked it forward. Great result for the Kangaroos. They tie it up. Clock and this is down. This really is a short fall for Australian rules when the clock continues to run in this situation. At the moment, it's stopped. Well, the game's not actually playing, is it? So, we agree with you there, Dennis. Well, no, they've got it right this time, but at least we've lost five or ten seconds. Stafford with strength, right of the pack, taken by King, back into the congestion. Coglin just sets it up. They come from all directions. Hullahan almost. Harris had it. Taken down. Another ball up. Hmm. And we're down to 37 seconds. Once again, Harris does the right thing. Rides through the tackle, absorbs the punishment, and takes the ball right to ground. Kangaroos are meant to win this. It's fairy tale or bust. Bounce 40 metres out. Plenty of players around the football. Wells got a boot to it. Down goes Simpson, close to the boundary line. Simpson will get a free kick. And that up. should just about do it. He might gobble it up from here. Expect to get him, get, see him get cramp in the next 15 seconds. Saw the timekeeper circling behind him in the iridescent green. It's a free kick, too. Simpson deep in his defensive area. Clock down is seven. Sends it high towards the wing. Quarter comes hard. Big Mark Stafford. Too little, too late. Fairy tales do come true. Probably the biggest work of his life, you'd have to think, and had a say in the final goal that put his team, the Kangaroos, across the line. Jason McCartney was administered the last rites in October at the Alfred Hospital. Tonight he is chaired from the ground, an absolute Australian sporting legend.